Hello, everyone. This is Janetska, and tonight I'm coming at you with some of, or nearly all of my paranormal experiences because I thought, when is the best time to talk about that kind of thing? Except for Halloween, right? Halloween is the perfect time to talk about that. And I wanted to do like, kind of like a little vlog, kind of my experiences. So, and I wanted to share that with you guys. And hopefully you will find this video relaxing and possibly freaky so let me start with my background so my mum is uh, a self-proclaimed clairvoyant so I grew up with that kind of atmosphere and uh, maybe I got really used to the vibe so I didn't really notice anything at first uh, nothing special uh, but I would catch things out of the corner of my eyes you know once or twice I had to do a double take you know uh, that, that sort of things and uh, obviously you know, you do second takes, you do double takes, and the thing that you thought was there disappeared, it's not there. So you can't really prove anything, or prove anything to yourself, you know. So, then in my early teenage years, I started reading a lot about uh, the paranormal. Uh, vampires, monsters, ghouls, witches, all of that and I also tried recording uh, spirit voices and one of the spirits I was trying to reach was Anne Franks because I had just finished reading her diary And uh, so how I did that, I was in a room by myself, my bedroom, not my bedroom, another room, myself, shut the door, pressed record, called out her name, waited. I did that quite a few times and nothing had happened. So I was kind of ready to give up. And um, I tried it again. And then I listened to all the takes. And the last one I listened to, there was this sort of, of moan. Like coming from afar a bit, like... You know, when you call someone and they're um, sleeping, kind of like that, like, like mm, you know, like that. And um, I mean, the neighbors had been pretty quiet for once. My mom was sitting, watching TV. She was not saying anything in particular. Uh, I went. I went to ask her anyway. Like, mom, did you say something? She was like, I haven't said anything. And so I freaked out and I stopped. <laughs> I stopped doing that. Okay, so we fast forward several years. I went to live abroad after completing uni. 
this was my first time alone. Uh, I went to a friend's house for the first time and I slept in the guest room. And that night I experienced sleep paralysis and hallucinations. And so far I think it has been the only time I've experienced sleep paralysis. I was scared as fuck. I was lying in bed. I couldn't move. There was this huge wardrobe facing the bed. And there were like four or six doors and they were all they all had mirrors, obviously. And I saw a huge gargoyle sitting on top of the wardrobe on the top left hand corner sitting there and staring down at me and I wanted to scream but no sound was coming out and then the thing started flying in circles around my bed And I didn't know what to do. I was terrified. I just closed my eyes really tight. I just hoped that I would sleep. I mean, it, I, I ended up sleeping eventually, but it was like the scariest fucking thing. And I haven't told anybody about this. This is the first time I talk about it. I, I wanted to tell my friend the following day, but... It was like a bright day, really nice and sunny, and I thought, oh, maybe he's going to think I'm crazy or something. So I just uh, I just left it, but I never went to sleep in that room again. And then a few months later, the same year, I was uh, sharing this house with a few people, like, I don't know, three or four people or something like that. No money. <laughs> and uh, they all went to work around the same time. And I had a lot of free time. So I had the house to myself uh, for quite a few hours in the day. And every time I was stepping out of my room, I would freak out. I had this oppressing feeling. It didn't matter if it was day or night. I always felt like there was something on the landing or uh, on the stairs. Uh, like in the entrance, in the... Uh, yeah, in the entrance area. Not so much the kitchen, but uh, it was really oppressing. And once again, I never told anybody about it because everybody else seemed to be getting on pretty well and they were just living their lives. They didn't seem worry about, worried about anything. So. I don't know. Several years after that, I was living in a different town. And I was I started working in a shop that used to be a house back in the 19th century. So it was a, an old house, old wooden house. Uh, it was a type two I think which means that you cannot smoke on the premises or have like any type of fire going on whether you're cooking food or anything it's really a really old house um, and I mean I was working on the ground floor the stock room would be in the basement downstairs and that was fine 
That was absolutely fine. I had no problems with that. That stock room, or even the shop floor. But every time I was going upstairs to go to the toilet, <laughs> I would feel a presence. And that bothered me. You know, I was like, am I imagining things, you know? When you're tired, your brain sometimes tricks you. Um, this one time there was a problem on the first floor, so we had to go to the second floor to go to the low. Uh, that was worse. That was ten times worse. I couldn't wait to get out of there. Uh, and what was more is that I was not the only person who was feeling like this. We were three or four different people working day in, day out, and everyone said the same thing. Um, my mother came to visit me. And apparently she told me that she saw ghosts coming into the shop. Uh, we looked up and down for a fucking Catholic church. Uh, because my mom's Catholic. And um, we were looking for holy water which Protestant churches do not have. I learned that. Oh, at least not, not Church of England. They don't, they don't have that. Um, we finally got our hands on some holy water. After looking up and down, pretty much in the whole town, and it's a hilly town. That's why I say up and down. Uh, we went back to the shop, we went to the second floor and the presence I had felt, every time I felt that presence I had a picture in my mind of a young woman with long dark hair wearing a long sleeved and uh, just long dress, a long dress kind of white or light colored which sounds extremely original I know um, my mum told me there was a couple and so one young woman and her husband and apparently what had happened was that her husband had found her with another man and he had killed her and apparently when you do things like that your soul cannot move on so that's why they were stuck in that place because that I think was their house and he poisoned her and one of my colleague's husbands confirmed that in this, on the same street uh, there was a physician uh, that at, at that time they used to sell also powders and stuff like that so I think that's how she was killed he poisoned her Oh, that's what my mum told me. So it would make sense. Do you see the, do you see the connection? Um, the last occurrence of me having a paranormal experience happened in the same country, but still in a different place. And I was driving back from work on a beautiful day. I had uh, the windows slightly down. 
went past the field uh, and I smelled tobacco. Pipe tobacco. And by the time I noticed it, but I recognized it was pipe tobacco, I immediately thought of my brother. And my brother died when I was three. Um, and he was a pipe aficionado, even though he was quite young when he died. <laughs> And I thought of my brother, I looked in my rearview mirror, what for, I don't know, I don't know why I did, because I was alone in that car. I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw nothing. And all of that took about five seconds. But it has stayed in my mind. Because I cannot explain. Maybe maybe something, like I had the window slightly down. So maybe there was a smell from the fields that passed by. I don't know. I still don't know how to explain it. And it didn't strike me as being a particular date, you know, like his birth date or his, the anniversary of his, of his death. It was just a regular day. So I don't know, but I kind of freaked out, especially since uh, my, bo my brother died in a car crash. So that's that. That was pretty freaky. All right, I have been rambling on for quite a while now. I just wanted to make a little video about my paranormal experiences. And if you have any paranormal experiences, then please share them with me because I always find those very interesting. All right. Happy Halloween, everyone.